We're going to move to weather now. Brittany joining us. And again, we got up this morning and I thought, oh, it, it is November, but we usually don't get, I don't think this cold this early or is it just me? November 22nd is usually when we see our first freeze in DFW. So we're just a little bit earlier. And tomorrow, I want to alert you to the fact that it is going to be another cold day. It is going to be a rainy day, but we are expecting a bulk of that rainfall to fall from about 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the Metroplex. After the rain moves out, we have a pretty quiet work week ahead, but we are tracking the potential for another system late in the week. But Miles not in great agreement on that right now. They are in agreement, though, on temperatures staying well below normal through the upcoming weeks. We're sitting at 51 in Dallas, 50 in Fort Worth. That's where we have some of those clearer skies, a little bit chillier in the 40s. But we are going to continue to see those clouds moving in overnight as this next system sitting over the four corners heads our way. And this is what's going to bring the rain back to North Texas. So quiet conditions if you're headed out this evening, but then the clouds will be filling back in towards sunrise tomorrow. And we'll start to see a couple of showers as you're headed out on the morning drive. And then that rain starts to fill in closer to about the lunch hour, especially right over the Metroplex. Notice west of 35, not getting quite as much rain and starts to pick up a bit more as it heads east. So about four o'clock, we're already starting to dry out around DFW and seeing some of those heavier showers around Sulphur Springs into Mineola. And then the clouds are going to be slow to clear out as we head into our Tuesday. But our rainfall tolls are going to be light quarter of an inch up to a half an inch with those higher rainfall totals east of 35. We are looking at some moderate rain in those areas, but we're not expecting any snow here in North Texas where they are looking at snow from this system. That's just to our north in Oklahoma. We could even see a couple of wet snowflakes mixing in along the Red River. Not going to see accumulations there, but where we have this blue color looking about an inch of snow could even see some pockets of two to three inches of snow into Oklahoma. But on this day, in November 13th in 1976, we actually had two to three inches of snow in DFW. Grapevine picked up five inches of snow. Luckily, we don't have that snow in the forecast just yet, but we definitely have a cold and pretty raw Monday on the way. Notice our temperatures are not going to change a whole lot because of the clouds and rain in the area. And we are going to be feeling pretty chilly. Even with just that light breeze, we're going to be feeling closer to those upper 30s. Some spots off to the east may not even make it out of the upper 30s. But then where we're staying a little bit drier, that's where we're going to see temperatures around 49 degrees in Stephenville. After that, the seven day forecast looking pretty good. We have those cold mornings, Steve, and temperatures are back to the 50s heading through the end of the week. That is chilly indeed and wet. Okay, Brittany, thank you.